Hey True Northers. So for this week's sweat cap, I just want to talk about one of the key uh, coaching cues when you're doing exercises in the push-up or the long plank position. So this could mean when you're doing push-ups or um, exercises like mountain climbers or uh, you know what we call the T rotations, rotational long plank. Um, and that is to maintain that, that board, that long straight line throughout the movement. Meaning your hips don't pop up and you break that line. So specifically what I'm speaking of is when you're in your push-up position or long plank position, your hands are under your shoulders and your eyes should line up in front of your fingertips. And you can see that I'm maintaining that, that plank through the midline, through my, my uh, trunk. When you start letting the hands move forward and your eyes drift from the front of the hands towards the back, and that happens, um, that can happen for a couple of different reasons. Uh, a lot of times it's because uh, the, the, this position, it's like a, um, an A position, a, a TP or a triangle, that's actually easier to hold then when you flatten out, it's, it takes the stress off, the, uh, off that midline, off that trunk, and allows you to sort of brace at an angle to hold the position. So um, this can happen because either your proportions don't allow you to do the exercise without lifting those hips, and I'll talk about that in a sec, that's the mountain climber, uh, or because you're stronger or, or, or the, um, you're exceeding the strength strength endurance of the upper body of the chest and shoulders and triceps um, and so you cheat it back to take some of that stress off so when you're doing this position as the upper body gets tired and the, as the as the trunk here gets tired you start going like this okay and now you see my eye line has shifted from over in front of my fingertips to the middle of my hands or the back of my hands so your cue when you're doing, when you're setting up is again, line up, you wanna make sure those hips are down so you're maintaining that flat plank position. The eyes are in front of the fingertips, the hands are under the shoulders. When you're doing push-ups, the way to uh, lessen the weight, since you can't you know, drop the, dumb, the amount of uh, weight you're using with the dumbbell since it's body weight, is to go higher and that stands for um, any, any exercises in the long plank position too. Raise the height of your hands where you're at, up to a bench or even one of the top boxes, if you're having trouble maintaining that position when you do an exercise like the rotation, okay? When people start doing this and they start getting tired, their, their, their trunk or their core starts getting tired, their upper body starts getting tired, and it winds up looking like this, you're no longer doing the exercise in an effective manner. Okay, so raise the height or potentially ask us for a, a, a different version that uh, allows you, that is more within your abilities at, the, at that time. The other thing is mountain climbers, you want to maintain, and this is a big one, especially once you start speeding it up and adding some velocity to the movement. Um, because I don't know how many times I see uh, mountain climbers by the end wind up so mountain climbers should look like this, okay? Relatively still trunk, moving the hands through. I don't know how many times I wind up seeing it like, okay? And again, not getting um, a lot of benefit from doing it that way. So that can happen in the case of mountain climbers for a couple of different reasons. It can be the same things that are going on with the, the the push up, the long plank, where you're getting tired in the upper body, your, your trunk is getting, your, the core trunk is getting um, fatigued, and you start cheating it up. You, you'll know that's happening when you're doing those rapid mountain climbers, when your shirt starts to roll up towards your shoulders. It can also happen though, because some people have uh, just the way that their body proportions are, where their arms are a little bit, uh, uh, shorter than the distance from their knee to their hip. And so what happens, I'm not one of those people, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna simulate it. If that's the case, what happens is they can't get their knee underneath them without lifting their hips up to create that space. 
the easy way out of it, although it does um, reduce the amount of uh, weight or load by raising the hands a little bit, it's worth it to, to do that because it'll allow you to do the movement properly because now you have the space, okay? So when you're doing the mountain climbers, just like with what I mentioned with the T rotations or, or say renegade rows, right, is make sure you're maintaining that eye line over your hands and the, the, the hips down in that straight line, even when you're doing the mountain climbers, whether you're doing them slowly or you're doing them with speed, make sure it doesn't degrade into this position. All right, that helps. Hope it's a, a useful tip for you. Um, leave comments uh, below if you have any questions or like we say every week, other exercises you want us to talk about. And uh, otherwise, train smart, train hard, keep fit, have fun. <laughs>